Bitcoin was launched in 2009, and it's a virtual currency, a cryptocurrency, because it's secured by you know certain mathematical operations and cryptographic operations. Uh, and it's really important because we're at a stage where it's become useful, and it's really developed to the point where it's got some value for normal people. It's it's an open source platform, it's decentralized, and it's got this certain level of assumed security that allows people to really build you know, powerful applications on it. So the MIT Bitcoin project was this initiative started last year to give every undergrad at MIT $100 in Bitcoin. And I think the goal is to take this ecosystem, this very vibrant ecosystem, a college campus and MIT campus, <laughs> and take these students and give them access to this amazing technology and this amazing platform and kind of see what happens. So the Bitcoin Club, we've put together a tour to Bitcoin to show MIT students who have received their $100 in Bitcoin and where they can use it in the area or how they can use it online. So when you use Bitcoin at a store, normally the cashier will have a mobile device and you'll also have your phone and that's of how the transaction happens. So you'll have to scan a QR code on their device and merchants will use services like BitPay to bill you for whatever services you got there. So if it's you know getting food up in Central or if you're paying for a drink at Moxa, the merchants will use an app and you'll just scan their phone and pay for whatever you need to pay for. So you know it's pretty fast, it's pretty easy and you should see some We Accept Bitcoin stickers in stores around town if you look for them. Also, besides the stores that we've shown you, you can also use it in a peer-to-peer -peer way. So if you need to pay a friend back for something they bought for you at Verdi's, or if you want to send money internationally and you have some friends in South Africa, I mean, you can send it to them for like a cent in terms of transaction fees. Also, there's some big name companies that take Bitcoin, Microsoft, Overstock, Dell, Dish, and there are more coming on kind of every month. So you should check out some of those. Also, besides those big name companies that accept Bitcoin, there's a website called Gift, where you can buy gift cards and Bitcoin to other websites. So Amazon doesn't accept Bitcoin, but you can buy Amazon gift cards on Gift with Bitcoin to use Amazon, but from your Bitcoin account. So you have access through Gift to tons of other websites that don't currently accept Bitcoin. So that's definitely something to check out. So I've shown you a ton of cool ways to use Bitcoin, but the real power behind the technology is that you, as part of the Bitcoin community, get to create the next big tool to use it. So, you know, get out there, start coding. You know your friends have it, and you know that there's a supportive community here for your next big killer app for Bitcoin. So let, we're really excited to see what you come up with.